Hey, what's up guys? Thank you very much for joining. Uh, today we're going to go over Everything Must Go uh, by Goose. Really fun song. Um, some interesting chords, a really great progression. Uh, a lot of fun to play and learn. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing, hitting the bell for notifications. I do greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you're returning, you already know. Let's go ahead and hop in. Okay, so for Everything Must Go, we start with these two main chords, uh, which is an A flat into a D flat or D flat over A. And this is the intro and um, majority of the verse. It's bounce, bouncing back and forth between these two chord shapes here. Yep. Uh, so this A flat, uh, the way I'm playing it here, I'm barring 8th fret. Got my middle finger on the 9th fret of the B. Ring finger on the 10th of the D and pinky on the 11th of the A. Um, I think in watching Rick, I think Rick plays it not barred, so he's just got his index finger here um, <clears throat> on the G. Uh, but for me, it's for me, it was just easier to go from this bar to this bar, so that's how I'm doing it. Um, so again, that's the A flat, uh, D flat here, um, barring ninth fret. Middle finger on the 10th fret of the G, uh, pinky on the 11th of the D, and ring 11th of the A. Okay. And again, for that intro, it's going to be, you're going to strum, hit the B string, into the D flat. Sorry. I think they do that part... Uh, four times before they start singing. Okay, so the, the verse uh, verse song structure, right? So you're gonna play that intro, you'll do those chords four times, uh, and then you'll do the same chords as we start singing. Uh, Fitful attraction to the hot and heavy glow Hint of satisfaction in the sound of the rolling bones so after that line, there's a little bit of a, uh, you'll play on that D flat for a measure. Future when you need it, you can teach these lights to dance. So there we hop to um, an F minor. Um, so that barring eighth fret here, middle finger is on the ninth of the B. Um, pinky is on the 10th of the G and ring 10th of the D. So that's your F minor there. <clears throat> so we're uh, when you need it. You can teach these lights to dance. Let me go back to the A flat here. Finger on the trigger. You've got magic in your hands. Okay. Um, so so after the um, after the finger on the trigger line. Um, we have this uh, D half diminished chord. So the you've got magic in your hands. So that's a D half diminished back to the D flat there. Um, that D half diminished. Way I'm playing that, barring the tenth fret here, and I've got my ring finger on the eleventh of the A, and really only focusing on the E, A, and D strings here. If you get too far down, it sounds terrible. So after the, the, the D half diminished there, we go back to the D flat. Now that ends the, um, that ends the, the verse part, I guess. <laughs> uh, so you're playing on this and then you'll have, which leads into the chorus. Uh, and all that is is on the B, eighth fret, ninth fret, 11th fret there. Alright, so, future when you need it, you can teach these lights to dance, finger on the trigger, you've got magic in your hands. Okay, uh, so now we are down to the, uh, this is love part. So we're playing A flat, 
um, barring the 11th and 13th frets. Okay, um, so if you play the A flat, then your middle finger comes to the third or 13th fret, not the low E, then to the 12th fret. You gotta do this three times. And the fourth time, A flat, hit the tenth fret of the low E into the D flat there. <clears throat> okay, so again, that was. For now, we get back into the uh, two chords here. Okay. Uh, okay. So after uh, we you go through the course, the verse chorus progression uh, twice, uh, they've got the the minor jam section, uh, which is just going back and forth between the uh, the F minor. I believe it's four times, and then to the D flat. This is what Rick is soloing over. Um, and this will end uh, on an E flat. And then come right back into um, to the uh, the A flat there. Um, so if you're if you're playing on acoustic and you've got you know, the this song's probably better suited for an electric because you're, you're playing down here. So if your acoustic is not cut away, it does make it a little little difficult. Um, but you can come from so from this uh, D flat here. If, if that E flat's a little too much, um, you can play your E flat here just the normal normal barred way of playing the E flat. Um, so just barring barring the six and the eight frets. Um, but if you can make it work, pretty sure this is pretty sure this is what Rick's doing. All right, well, that is how you can play. Everything must go. Uh, I hope this helps you guys out. Please leave any feedback, comments below, and I'll see you guys again soon.